Okay guys, welcome to another episode of Rotten Reviews. On this episode I'm going to look at the 2009 film Pandorum. It has a 28% rating on Tomato Meter, a 49% rating on the audience score. I would say right off the bat that uh, I disagree with it being rotten and I think this would uh, this would deserve a solid three star rating. I don't think it should be rotten at all. I'd give it a 60% on the audience score. That's where I would actually see this. Critics, well, you can't figure out the critics, but I think this worked as a sci-fi film. It worked as a horror film. It had a plot that, while maybe a little difficult for some people to follow, made perfect logical sense, was explained, and it had the suspense to carry me from the beginning to the end of the film. Um, this was an all-around three-star winner to me. I found it very enjoyable. Obviously, um, the larger audience out there disagrees. However, I found that even the twist ending of the film works fine. I didn't see it coming. Um, this actually ran out of money. I think that's what its biggest flaw was. Uh, the production of the movie, uh, they burned through so much just to get the money, uh, to get the movie finished that, um, they ran out of money to actual actually market it to actually promote it properly and so I didn't even hear of this until it was already out on home video I didn't even know that this existed in the theater that was the big problem I think because I think if there had been enough money to properly market this movie it would have been very popular again three stars solid three stars uh, I think the casting of Dennis Quaid in the main role was perfect because he was enough of a hero character, especially from his prior work, that you had no suspicion that he turned out to be the bad guy all along. Um, it worked perfectly for me. So let's get right into the audience reviews and find out uh, why so many people disagree with me that this is rotten. Six days ago, so obviously this film is still being watched in 2019. We start with a one and a half star review. Derivative, undistinguished. Um, well, it's sci-fi and horror and it's derivative of a lot of things it's certainly an exact spiritual successor to the movie Event Horizon uh, it was produced by the same people it's got some of the actual symbiology and elements uh, put into it deliberately to catch your eye uh, it is not Event Horizon it is different than Event Horizon it is trying to be more of a sci-fi twist uh, getting you disturbed but not in a straight up horror gory way like Event Horizon did but it is like related to Event Horizon and in fact there is nothing about the plot of it that um, makes this set separately than the Event Horizon world and in fact you could put Event Horizon and this movie in the same sci-fi universe they probably were uh, intended to be in the same sci-fi universe the dates work up, the technology works. Um, it is the spiritual successor in a way to Event Horizon, although it's not stated outright in the film that one movie is related to the other. There are enough symbols deliberately placed to tell you this. Um, five stars, 29%. This is a sci-fi classic. If I ever needed proof that Rotten Tomatoes is unhelpful, this is it. I would largely agree, but I say it's solid three stars it doesn't quite rise to four or five stars I think with a better score and with um, a little bit more ingenuity this could have been uh, four stars easily but I don't feel like five stars I think that's quite exaggerated um, let's continue with three and a half stars if you're into sci-fi horror this is the movie for you I love this film and the way that the story comes together even with the aforementioned flaw in my detailed review the movie tells a great story I'm sure I'm going to upset someone out there with this statement but I would put this on par with the original alien it's certainly not paced like alien and the monsters are far more vicious but it manages to capture some of those same feelings of isolation on a ship Mm, I wouldn't compare this to Alien. I would say this has got too many characters and a little bit too much action for that. And it's it's more disturbing in what happens to characters. Yes, it's disturbing the way the characters get killed um, in Alien. But that straight up sci-fi trope, uh, how they're killed off. This is a little bit more disturbing and psychologically disturbing about what happens to the crew uh, in this film. So I wouldn't 
compare this to Alien. This is more psychological and disturbing to me. Uh, four stars. I really liked this movie. Good story, acting, special effects. Don't know why sci-fi fans would not like this. Watch it. I agree. It's worth watching. It's just not quite four stars, but it's it's it could have been. Uh, five stars. Very good need for more of this. Four stars. Don't listen to the critics on this one. This film was an excellent sci-fi movie. It was scary, suspenseful, and kept me guessing throughout it. The acting was also very well done. The special effects were great considering the era and budget. This film is 10 years old and it still felt it was very watchable, unlike other sci-fi films that haven't aged well. Yes, I think this has aged well. It will still disturb you the way it was meant to. The twist ending, um, I don't know if you would see it coming because you've seen other things now that have done something along this line. But I didn't see it coming uh, in 2009. The twist ending worked for me. I had no idea it was coming. One and a half stars. What a total mess of a film. Too dark, too noisy, excessive editing, and lousy script. I completely disagree. I don't know what film you were watching. Uh, I do agree that maybe if you weren't pained, if your attention wasn't on this 100% from the beginning, you might have gotten lost just enough where it confused you, where the ending didn't work for you because you thought it wasn't explained or it didn't make sense. You had to have your attention in this. If your attention wandered out of this, then yeah, it might have lost you at some point. Two and a half stars. Solid Sunday afternoon sci-fi folding laundry watch. I liked it but did fast forward through many scenes. Cast is great. Well, I don't know why you would fast forward unless they were a little disturbing for you. It was very disturbing what happened as, you know, some of the characters woke up from cryo sleep and where they met their end. A little disturbing. I could see somebody wanting to skip some of that. But otherwise, you know, like I said, if your attention wandered out at just the wrong points of this, you would be off-put by the ending. It wouldn't work for you. Uh, five stars. A great sci-fi movie. Critics do not do it justice. I'll agree with that. Um, what a time waster. One star. Unconvincingly played and presented on top. The story is meaningless. Uh, see, again, I think that's somebody that missed it. They got lost somewhere along the way. Um, their attention zoned out or whatever. They missed some of the stuff you would have to have in your mind to make the ending work. So I can see where they're coming from, but to me that's the way that reads. Uh, three and a half stars. A sci-fi horror blend in which mutant cannibals have taken over the deep space vessel Elysium on a mission to find a habitable planet to restart the human population. Corporal Bauer awakens after a too long... Okay, it's a synopsis, but let's just say it's kind of like similar to the synopsis of um, Passengers which is certainly not a horror movie, but imagine a horror version of the movie Passengers. It's more like that, that same concept with a twist, a better twist than what Passengers had. Uh, five or four and a half stars. Great movie with an absolute mind bender for an ending. Sci-fi movies always catch a bad rap by critics, but this one is right up there with the Event Horizon or Alien. I agree um, on the Event Horizon feel to this. Um, it was made by the same people that made Event Horizon. Four stars. If you liked Event Horizon, you'll like this. Great sci-fi space horror. Again, Event Horizon. And by the way, this was made by a German company. You cannot tell. Um, I would have thought this was an American production, but no, this was a German film production. I had no idea until I saw a short film on the making of this. Um, I thought this was a fantastic movie. Uh, fantastic Hollywood movie. I didn't know any better. Uh, three and a half st or four and a half stars. This movie is insanely underrated. I'm absolutely baffled by the low critics ratings. I stumbled upon this movie several years ago and almost didn't watch it because of the low ratings. I'm glad I did. I've now seen this movie at least three times and it's fantastic. Four stars. I was on the edge of my seat in the theater the first time I saw this movie. I normally dislike movies like this, but I found this one quite interesting. One and a half stars, goofy sci-fi horror that is nothing new. Well, it isn't new. I mean, this has been done, different elements of this have been done for the last 35, 40 years. But um, goofy in any way? No, no way. Not goofy at all. This actually will disturb you. That's what it's supposed to do. Two stars, had potential, but ultimately quite unoriginal and dull. 
4 out of 10. It is the year 2174. Okay, another synopsis. Again, I don't want to read a synopsis because I think if you haven't seen this, the spoiling it will just ruin it for you. You need to see this uh, for the first time without somebody giving you a complete synopsis. Five stars. An excellent film for people who are not part of this modern culture of looking forward to hating a movie and complaining about everything rather than looking to enjoy things. Pandorum is excellent sci-fi, much deserving of a sequel. It will never receive because people love to complain. Well, he's got a point there. The internet's all about voicing your opinion, and people are motivated most by their negative opinions, and it's fun to be negative. So that's just the internet. Continuing, this movie is as good as the trailer implies. This wasn't some cheap horror film, which is in a way unfortunate because like both Blade Runners, it unpredictably lost money. It was an expensive production. Yes, it was an expensive production. It did lose money. Again, I say it's because the marketing budget wasn't there. Otherwise, this would have been a solid three-star moneymaker, no question. Five stars. Lovecraftian horror at its finest. Yes, it's very Lovecraftian, Lovecraftian in its horror. If that type of Lovecraftian horror disturbs you, makes you feel uneasy when you go to bed at night, then this is your type of film. Uh, three and a half stars. I liked it. There were areas that were slow, but loved the ending. I agree, but I don't think it was slow. It gave you, even the parts that you might find there's not that much happening, it was very effective in getting me, you know, towards the edge of my seat. Five stars. I loved it. I don't understand what all the hate is about. There aren't many survival horror films out there, and this film takes a good crack at it, especially for such a low budget. Well, it's certainly better. If it's survival horror, it's certainly much better than, say, Resident Evil, which is completely stupid, ridiculous, and a recycled video game idea. Um, so survival horror, I would put this right at the top. Because when you say survival horror to me, you know, right off the bat, I just come out with Resident Evil. And I was sick of that halfway through the first one. And how many of the, those have we had? I find those completely offensive to, you know, the intelligence of the moviegoers. This is like right up there at the top for survival horror. No question. Uh, five stars. This was a great movie. Five stars. Great sci-fi film. Surprised it's taken this long for me to see it. This review is from 2018, so yeah, a lot of people have missed this simply because it's been forgotten about. It didn't have the marketing budget. It wasn't even in the theater for very long. I didn't know about it till it was, you know, um, out on DVD for near three or four weeks. I didn't even know what it was about until I popped it in and started watching it because, again, it was just a marketing budget fail. They ran out of money, and they didn't have enough left over to market the film. Three stars. Although it isn't the greatest movie, it still managed to keep my mind on the movie and me on the edge of my seat for its entirety. Sure, there were some shoddy plot points, but the overall, overall idea of the movie was solid. With better acting and maybe a better origin story for the humanoid monsters, it could have been amazing. Mm, I don't agree on those nitpicks. I think everything was well explained and it worked. It's just that some people, their attention wandered out at whatever moment and they missed some subtle things that would have made it all work for them. Now, you do get also, by the way, for people that are like Walking Dead fans, you get like your first glimpse of the actor uh, Norman Reedus uh, before anybody knew who he was. He doesn't do good or bad, but you'll notice him in this film. Uh, four stars. If you like science fiction, then this is a good film. Dare I say, even a great on one occasion. Dennis Quaid is great, and the set pieces and production design shines through. However, predictability ruins it in the end. Regardless, you should check it out. Cool science fiction movie. I don't think it's predictable. Maybe if you're deep into a lot of similar sci-fi and you've read and watched stuff along these lines, maybe. But uh, for me, it wasn't predictable. Five stars. A great and underrated gem. It's a shame that this film never received the attention it deserves. The history was planned to make sequels, but probably we never are going to see those. Yeah, it didn't feel like something that should have sequels to me. I don't know what you would have done with a sequel because we got everything in this. Um, it had almost a happy ending, so I don't get how there's supposed to be a sequel. That would be interesting uh, for somebody to explain to me how that would work because I don't see how it would. One star, it sucked. Watch Event Horizon instead. I disagree. I think that this is actually um, a better production value than Event Horizon. Event Horizon's good. 
But I think there's more to see here, actually, and you get uh, even more disturbed by this in a lot of ways. Uh, four stars. Not sure why this has the panning it apparently received. A solid sci-fi, a mix of Event Horizon and zombie apocalypse themes in an intriguing universe. Four stars. This was a well-done and interesting sci-fi. I am surprised by the negative reviews. Five stars. Best sci-fi ever made. You know, I think they go over the top with that, but I'll give it I'll give it that it's one of the best sci-fi survival. Yes, I would put it right at the top. Uh, four stars, a visually and atmospherically solid. This is a good but not great sci-fi thriller. Far better than the scores would suggest, I agree. Four stars, decent, finally something different in space. Four stars, to be honest, I really liked it, though it was bad. It obviously has flaws, but every movie does. Nobody is perfect, and neither are movies. Uh, I don't know what they're saying. They gave it four stars, but then said it was bad. I don't get that. Uh, two and a half stars. Not a bad film, but it never really tried anything new, and it felt like a mixture of Resident Evil, Alien, and The Descent all in one. Well, yeah, a lot of those, a lot of that genre survival horror is going to remind you of those because those are all the iconic titles that started the whole genre of survival horror, at least in the U.S. and Hollywood. So, you know, I can't nitpick it for that. Everyone is always whispering, which was annoying, and it wasn't the best acting you will see. I did like the twist at the end, but it wasn't enough to make this a good film, more like an average forgettable sci-fi flick. Okay, I could kind of see that, but no, I think it's better. I think it deserves three stars. Four stars, not great, but pretty darn good. Five stars, I can go over the heads of some, but it is deep and interesting film. I think they mean it can go over the heads of some, and I'll agree, if, you're not, if your attention isn't on this at all times, yeah, enough of it might slip your grasp that you're confused at the end. Uh, three and a half stars, relies mostly on the creepy and claustrophobic atmosphere of the scenery, a quite dark, huge spaceship that is infested by cannibals, which are basically the mutated human cargo. Acting is quite solid. This movie came as a surprise as it wasn't announced properly, like with those big campaigns of today. The 28% rating isn't deserved, since production values are quite good. If it wouldn't have this hysterical undertone, it would be quite watchable, though Dennis Quaid does deliver. Well, you know, I'd largely agree with that it doesn't deserve 28% and it's and it is largely just because it didn't have the marketing budget two stars it was okay little twist kind of cool three stars I have a lot more patience for sci-fi and horror films than I do for any other type of film so I liked this one it was certainly better than the Martian and moon half a star one of the worst movies I've ever seen mm, I don't know what movie you're watching maybe if you're not even a fan of sci-fi or horror if you're expecting a romantic comedy then of course this isn't gonna be your thing three stars probably the closest thing to a live-action dead space movie you're ever gonna see the story falls apart a little in the third act but the build-up is well worth the watch it's a decent sci-fi horror regardless um, you know, Dead Space, That's pro I didn't play that game very much, but yeah, I could see how you could make that comparison. It could be the closest thing you'll see. Five stars, brilliant. Don't understand why it had such bad ratings. I love the concept and it kept me interested the whole time. Four and a half stars, best sci-fi horror since Alien. Four stars, Pandorum is an extremely dark dystopic film in the vein of Event Horizon and Pitch Black. It's still scary on the third viewing. Four stars. I just watched this flick for the second time, and I like it just as much as I did the first, but understood the plot better and saw things in it that I did not notice the first time. I loved the plot twists. The acting was very good. The production values excellent. It created a whole world, which good sci-fi always does. A very fascinating watch. Yeah, see, they're saying they watched it the first time and they didn't get exactly everything that was going on the second time they did again I'll say if your attention isn't all the way in this you're gonna miss a lot of it that's that's gonna ruin it for you uh, two stars uh, I'm not gonna read all that one star so 16 minutes in and a crew member on an interstellar spaceship is injured because I'm at an angle oh shit I'm at an angle slides down the shaft and crashes headfirst into a grate 
That is instant stupid. I appreciate sci-fi from plausible to absolute fantasy. Just pick one and go with it. Don't do cryogenic freezing or whatever for extended space travel. Then follow up with an injury due to falling a great distance down a maintenance shaft. You know, I don't get that at all. Um, that's completely believable with what's going on in the ship. Um, you would, believe it or not, in the real world, it is small things in the plot like falling down the wrong way in the real world that would mess you up bad enough to ruin your time in this movie. Um, I don't get the nitpick there. Yes, the, uh, char the main character wakes up out of cryogenic sleep. Um, I don't see why it's unrealistic that um, he would fall down a shaft. Um, I found it very realistic. Two and a half stars. Brooding sci-fi thriller, all very dark and foreboding, but not a bad effort if you enjoy low-budget films of this ilk. Uh, I don't know what film you're watching, but this was not low-budget by any means. The budget was a lot higher than Event Horizon. Uh, three and a half stars. I think the critics are a little hard on this film. The leads put in good performances. The ideas of future tech are well done and thought out. Yes, there are faults with the plot. Instead of letting the story expand into a sci-fi classic that could tell the story after the end. They go the old route of turning a great idea into another zombie horror flick. Maybe budget held them back. That all being said, it's a movie I watched several times for its center performances, good sci-fi ideas. It's not just a um, zombie flick. Uh, there's a lot more to it to, than that. Um, the critics saying that he's watched it several times, so he's kind of making my point for me. Um, you don't watch a zombie flick several times unless there's more to it than that. One star. I love a good sci-fi. This is not a good sci-fi. I had to turn it off, and that is a rare thing, as I'll normally always tough out even the worst of films. Well, I could see how some people turned it off because it made them too uneasy, but production value-wise and plot-wise, no. This is your, this is horror and sci-fi done correctly. Four stars. Just saw this movie last night, and what surprised me were the low ratings and the reviews. I am a hardcore sci-fi fan, and I thought this movie was pretty good. Star Wars taught us that FX don't need to be good for a good movie, and the plot was entertaining enough to not bore me. There were some things that aren't explained well in the movie, but all the more reason to rewatch and try to figure out what this movie is about. No, there's nothing that's not explained. It's just that your attention wasn't there when it was explained. Um... I think, like, again, watch it again and pay attention to what's happening, um, and you'll get what it's trying to tell you. Uh, three and a half stars. Maybe it's not the most fantastic or original film, but I enjoyed it. Dark, suspenseful, a psychological twist without overdoing it. Does what it says on the tin. Five stars. One of the best movies I've seen. Concept was smart with a great reveal. Highly memorable. I'm reminded of it due to recently watching Wayward Pines, which have many of the similar concepts that I originally watched in Pandorum. You know, you're right about that. Um, Wayward Pines, totally different setting, but believe it or not, it is very similar. That's a very good um, observation. I'm glad I read that review because that didn't occur to me when I started this, but yeah, Wayward Pines is along the same lines. Uh, four stars. Okay, the plot is complicated, but when you put all the pieces together, it's as satisfying as it can get. It's not that complicated, but it requires your attention to be there the whole time. You drift out at the wrong time and you're lost. Um, four and a half stars. Great premise and reasonable execution. Really good production quality. Three stars. Third watch, enjoyable, and a bit of sci-fi fun. Grows on you each time. Four and a half stars. Just signed up to rate this because I feel the current low rating is a little unfair. I agree. I saw this movie by accident the first time, but have watched it two more times in the years since. I would agree, strongly recommend to sci-fi fans, but it is an all-round enjoyable movie. Excellent effects and prop sets, quite gritty, explored some new concepts and provokes thought. Maybe it was a benefit to avoid any hype surrounding the film, but having watched it knowing nothing previous, we found it very entertaining. This is from 2016. Again, there wasn't any hype surrounding the film because the marketing was almost non-existent. That's why it failed. That's why it took a loss. Um, so, I don't know. I watched this without even knowing what it was about at all, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. One and a half stars. This was confusing as hell, only making sense in the last five minutes of the movie. 
Positives, alien atmosphere and a nice kind of twist at the end. Negatives, not enough explanation about the Pandorum effect, confusing and not that intriguing. I disagree. I think, again, your attention wasn't all the way there. When you say twist ending, I don't want to give it away, but it's not just one twist. It's like there are two different twists happening in this twist ending. Uh, I think you missed one of them because your attention wasn't all the way there. Five stars. I don't understand why this movie isn't better liked. Ben Foster is incredible, as is Dennis Quaid and the entire cast. Look for Eddie Rouse stealing scenes in a captivating and disturbing turn. Couple that with a mind-bending plot and some scary aliens, and I don't see what else you could need in a movie. Actually, they aren't scary aliens. Again, maybe you weren't paying attention. I agree it's good and it's scary, but they're not actually aliens. Uh, four stars, not bad, kept me entertained. There were a couple parts that were a little dumb and not well followed through, but in general, decent. I'm going to probably leave this one here because I proved my point. Many more people like this than you would think just from the rotten scores. 49% audience score, no, I think this deserves over 60%. It doesn't deserve to be rotten. I highly recommend watching this one time, but be, be prepared to keep your attention on it fully. If you don't have uh, the attention to stay on this, then don't bother because you won't get the effect at the end. You might get one of the twists, but you won't get the entire point of it. So anyway, I'm going to leave that, and I will see you on the next edition of Rotten Reviews.